20 to 7. Not a creature is stirring. Like me and that guy. <laughs> and this guy. But we start our days early. You won't recognize me. Okay, now I'm doing my hair. I had my hairdresser flown in especially. She doesn't speak any English though. So, but uh, I had her flown in from Bogota. And she's, uh, she, she can laugh in English, but that's it. She, she, can't, she, she can't speak in English. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Uh, nice. Very good. You're doing just fine. Oh Así, <laughs> señor? <laughs> Perfecto. How are we moving over to makeup? This is where they kind of told me down because I'm actually too good looking and so they kind of have to like mess me up a little bit. So it's just kind of like fit in. Uh, now my call time was, was today was 6.30. As you saw, we went over to hair and makeup. Did a little hair and makeup. Today's supposed to be a little more of a casual look because I'm supposed to have been up all night kind of deal. How long does hair and makeup usually take for you? It usually takes me uh, about 20 minutes, not too long. Uh, so from hair and makeup, and then I wander back to the trailer here. I look over my script for a little bit, highlight my lines, and then um, get ready for them. To, at any given moment, they may call for me, and then we go to the set. Wherever that is, today we're on location, so we'll go in a van. So you arrive on set. What's the first thing that happens? Usually the first thing that happens is rehearsal. In other words, because it, cause they want to they want to give the uh, crew as much time as possible to set up the shot. And so, so until they know what we're going to do, it's hard to set up the lights and all that stuff. So the first thing you try to do is do a quick rehearsal so we get an idea of what the scene's going to be. And you may have a little time after that. Get ready. If, if, if you're not fully in costume or makeup, you can finish up. And, uh, well, the crew sets up the shop. The phrase goes, we work for free, and they pay us to wait. Uh, so whatever you're between. One, one very popular thing to do is you go to your iPhone. I don't play games. You check your texts, your emails, or anything here. It's too early. At 8 o'clock in the morning, nobody, nobody's contacting me at 8 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, you know, you could, what do you do? You could go to craft services, which I try to avoid because they, they what they do is they keep a, a dark chocolate haagen bar for me for lunch. They know to hide one for me. <laughs> services, so I can look forward to that. What about lunchtime? What's the uh, what's the plan for lunch? lunch? Lunch is the best, because we have the best caterers in the world. We've, we have Hannah, our cook, who's Lebanese, makes Lebanese espresso. It serves in porcelain cups at the end of lunch. He walks around carrying his cups, pouring Lebanese coffee, which is laced with cardamom and spices. And brutal. We don't have Mexican day, or Italian day, or Lebanese day, or Greek day, and so the food will reflect that. And um, so it's great. Today, I think I have a pretty good gap between scenes. I have to do this scene, then I have a gap, and then I have to scene later in the day. So rather than go home, get out of costume and go home, gets involved, I'll just hang out in my trailer and take care of business. Wrapping it up. And one for Japan. Sitting here watching the military the channel. Of his Makeup's is off. Out of my he wardrobe. The bombers. And everything's set for tomorrow 15. morning. We'll start all over again.